Welcome to Design Coach with RepSketch. In this video, I will show you how to draw cardigans using RepSketch. RepSketch is a free online vector design tool to create technical fashion sketches by repurposing existing designs. Let's get started. We'll sketch out a cardigan using an existing design to expedite the process. So let's look for something like a sweater maybe. As you can see, RepSketch provides an extensive library of vector-ready designs contributed by our community. I'll use this women's crewneck sweater design and click here to start editing the sketch right away. Okay, first let's ungroup our sweater design object by selecting it and clicking on this ungroup button at the bottom. We'll now delete the existing neckline and any extra design objects as we don't need them. We now need a neckline for our cardigan, so instead of drawing it out from scratch, I'll look it over in our components pane library to see if I can find something I can repurpose. This ribbed round neckline with placket looks good, so let's use it. We'll select and drop it into our workspace. Adjust and resize this vector to match the sweater at the neckline and bottom hem. And let's fix these rib lines by clicking on the edit group, selecting the neckline, and reducing the stroke width from here. This looks good. Now I'll ungroup the side seam on either side to change the drop shoulder seam to a regular armhole seam. Delete the stroke line and move these seams up a little like this. Let's now add details along the armhole seam to add a knitted character to our garment. Using the Create and Edit Path tool, let's draw small lines like this. Select and head over to the Stroke settings to change the line width and round the edges. Clone the object and place it at an angle like this. Group both the lines and clone to build this knitting effect. Similarly, group the entire set and clone to mirror it on the other side as well. Great, now let's change the color of our sweater. Just select the design and head to this fill color tool to pick the color of your choice. Let's quickly adjust our bottom hem rib as well. Ungroup these rib objects on the sleeve and align them quickly. Then select all these objects and head to the stroke setting to make changes to the custom pattern. Now I'll show you how we can turn our design into a V-neck cardigan. I'll move this neckline to the side for now and look for a suitable V-neck from the components pane library. This ribbed V-neck looks good, so let's drag and drop it on our design. First, let's resize it to fit the neckline. Then ungroup to remove these shoulder seams. Now we'll make a few final changes to finish our neckline by ungrouping the object and adjusting the stroke width as well as aligning them to match the rest of the design. Great! Now we'll extract the placket from this design object. I'll ungroup and move the placket over to the top of our sweater design and remove the extra objects. This looks good. To finish off, let's change the color of the new neckline from the fill color option. This is how you can create professional design sketches in minutes with RepSketch. Do check out our other video tutorials if you found this helpful, and use the comment section below for any questions or suggestions on what we should create next. Thanks.